this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Mon Tuesday, January the 11th, 2022. It is like minus 8 outside, minus 11 with the wind, which is sun tanning weather for Winnipeg, Manitoba. Winter pig. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, everybody? I hope you're doing well. Hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. Will not resonate with everyone out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Cutting the deck for the collective. Spirit. The Hierophant, commitment. First card out. The Ten of Cups. Ultimate abundance of love. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. This is the whole everything. This is the happy couple. Children, if you want. Pets, if you want. Uh, nice little house, property. Ultimate abundance in love. I love it. What is crossing this? The Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Talks about leaving someone out in the cold. Um, also, um, for me, this is kind of like a somebody wants you to feel sorry for them type of card. Um, here they are, like they're out in the cold, and there's this nice big building right there that they could just go in, but they're not. So. They're kind of having a little pity party over here. Let's see. Consciously known. Queen of Cups, Queen of Love. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. The Queen of Cups. She's loving, caring, compassionate. She's a nurturer. She's a good parent. She's a good partner. Queen of Love. Unconscious. The Seven of Cups. You have options. It's talking about options in love. Cups are water energy, can't spicy Scorpio. There is a branch here, stars, a wand, a book, hearts, looks like gold coins, a castle. This is talking about having options in love. Might have, might be Ailey talking to a couple of people, a couple of people interested in you. Recent past, Ace of Wands, a passion, a new beginning. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. There is a branch here, a paintbrush, a big wand, <laughs> a branch, music notes, a map, a quill, a book. This is a passionate new beginning. This could be a passionate new hobby. This could be a new way to make money, or this could be a wand, male or female. Near future, five of wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is fighting and arguing. So you can see these five witches, they seem to be uh, arguing. The cauldron is boiling over. Some of their robes are on fire. This is drama. Drama. We have, feel sorry for me, and we have drama. Where do you find yourself? Nine of Swords, somebody got you all up in your head. This is talking about sleepless nights, having dreams, worrying about what you could have, should have, would have done differently if you could. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. External Influences. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel is spinning in an upward direction for you. This is talking about success. We have a house, pot of gold. Looks like a doctor symbol. A shooting star, a sun, diamond ring. I like that. A book, a heart. Did I say house? I'm not sure. Wheel spinning in an upward direction. This is success. Hopes and or fears. Ooh, we got stalker energy here. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Are you, this would be a fear. Are you worried that someone is watching you? I don't know, with this pity party and this drama, oh, maybe someone's watching you. I'm not sure if this is just what you're worried about or if this is really happening. 
since it comes in the hopes and or fears category. Overall outcome, toxic behavior, toxic behavior. We got three fives here. The swords are flying in the air, swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, lying, cheating, stealing, and addictions, alcohol, drugs, sex. I don't know. What on the deck? We got the Hierophant. The Hierophant talks about commitment. Hierophant means um, order, tradition, stability, engagement, marriage. Well, we got the Emperor. We got some divine, divine masculine here putting his foot down. The Emperor. He is divine masculine, independent, sitting in his throne, sitting in his power, knows his worth. Um, he's got a, like a antler type crown on. He's got this huge scepter. He has got gold boots, a cat, a dog. The emperor is, uh, kind of a stubborn my way, the highway, uh, attitude, but the emperor is going to put his foot down and say that he's not taking any of this five of pentacles, five of wands, five of swords energy. He's not, not, he's not playing a uh, pity party, um, or drama. He's putting his foot down on that. A oh, Aries energy. The strength, Leo energy. The strength talks about taming the beast inside. Can also mean having the strength to get through things that may be challenging in your life. Three of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is like waiting for your ships to come in. You could be waiting for something or someone. And three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Three of pentacles talks about working on a solid foundation with someone. This could be someone at work. This could be um, your person. Person you are interested in. We had ultimate abundance in love. The queen of love. Options in love. Passionate new beginning. The wheel of fortune. Commitment. The emperor putting his foot down on all this um fire all this drama the strength you have the strength to get through this waiting for something or someone and building a solid foundation i don't know who you're dealing with but i think you need to drop a sword on this person there's some somebody it looks like somebody may be leaving you out in the cold there was fighting and arguing. You were having sleepless nights. This person may or may not be watching you. And this person brought toxic energy into your life. I'm surprised we didn't have Queen of Swords. Not for you. Yeah, cut this person out. Use your Emperor energy. Put your foot down. Knock this person out of your life. Clean it up. Clean this, clean this out of your life. Oh, we got some hermit energy here. No place like home. Take some time yourself. Rest, relax, recuperate. Especially after all of these vibes. Love cards. Give your relationship a chance. Work on this. Work on this partnership. We did have three of pentacles building us Oh, we have three of wands and three of pentacles. No wonder you put. No wonder you put your foot down. There was someone else in this. Uh, this was third party. Two threes. Hmm. Yeah, sit in your emperor's energy unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance we did have commitment here you gotta 
Freeze this person out, though. <laughs> five, five pentacles. Freeze this person out. Majors. The star. Now, the star. Aquarius energy. The wish card. The angel card. Clearly what you want. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what you don't want. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Five of Sword. This is what you don't want in your life. Star talks about what you do want. Oh, and bottom of the deck, we got the Lovers. The Lovers. I feel like this is Gemini energy. I feel like uh, there may have been more than one person here, and you decided to walk away. Good call, I would say. Ultimate abundance in love, queen of love, options in love, passion new beginning, success, commitment, the strength, putting your foot down, cutting this person out of your life, waiting for someone new and willing to work on a solid foundation with a new person. Not for you. Clean it up. Clean up your life. No place like home. Take a minute. Rest, relax, recuperate. Give your relationship a chance. Unrequited love. Stay optimistic. Stay optimistic about your love life. It's going to come in. The star, the wish card, and the lovers. All right, yeah. Put your foot down, put your foot down, shut this, shut this down because someone is coming into your life that you can work on something with. All right, have a great evening and I will talk to you tomorrow. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now.